Welcome to Starkville, Mississippi, affectionately referred to as Stark Vegas, where earplugs are highly recommended because the cowbells will be ringing. Today, two teams collide in an old-fashioned SEC showdown. As we'll see, the Arkansas Razorbacks taking on a squad hoping to prevent another L this week, the Mississippi State Bulldogs. For EA Sports College Football, Reese Davis with you alongside David Pollock and Jesse Palmer. Time to get this game started. Mississippi State ready to kick off to get this game started. On the move from inside is five. He was looking for more running room, but none to be found as he stopped at the 23. The Razorbacks offense will get the first swing of the game. And here he comes. This offense is built completely around the talents of this running back, a rare commodity in today's game, and all eyes are on it. And the defense knows it, too. You know every single snap this defense is going to be keying on this running back, knowing that he is the key to the offense's success. He'll pull it on the read. They can rely on this guy to pick up solid yardage when they need it, and he's out to the 43. After the run, second and media. Here's the handoff. Running with power. And he delivers the angry stiff arm, but is greeted by an angrier defense. Looking downfield, it's Green. He's got an open man. They make the stop, but the sweet rolling catch is plenty to give them a first down. And the Razorbacks have their offense in high gear. The give to the tailback. Makes the tackle at the 31. It's a pickup of five on the play. Halfway there on first down, it's second and five. Quarterback on the keeper. Keeps the legs moving. And he fights his way forward, gets away from one, but not much doing on that one. Lining up to convert third down. Off play action. Now he's going to glide away from pressure. At the 20, he's got space. And he'll step into the end zone. Touchdown, Razorbacks! I mean, you talk about calling a pretty good defense you feel good about and you take away the pass, and what does the quarterback do? He pulls it down and just shows the speed, basically becomes a running back, takes it all the way to the house, and makes your defense look silly. They'll try to add another to their lead. And he's got the extra point, and it's 7-0 to start this one. So it's a 77-yard touchdown drive, and he closed the deal by scooting 31 yards for the score. Here he comes from inside his own five. Couldn't find a way to create that broken field as he stopped at the 25. The Bulldogs offense will have its first possession of the game. As we take a look at our impact players for this game, David, what do you look for to make an impact from your leaders? Your leaders not only have to lead the football team, but they got to step up and make plays on the field, keep everybody calm. These guys typically do a really good job. Yeah, David, and they also generally set the tone for their respective football teams. Regardless of which side of the ball they play on, the teammates look towards them to step up in big games like this. Snowed under by the defense. Mississippi State going up tempo. They'll try to bully their way for the first. That just never had a chance as they controlled the middle of the field and stopped him in the backfield on third down. Fourth down, and the punt team sends it the other way. Running it back, it's Sategna. Makes a move. There he goes. Open it up. He will score. Touchdown, Arkansas. 
every turn man saw daylight the instant the ball touched his hands and he darted to it and took it to the house. And Reese, I think it's one of the hardest things to do in football, to catch the ball as all these guys are flying around you and you got to take it, make a miss, try to find spaces and creases that aren't there. Great job making a huge play. Special teams and punt returns coming up big. Lining up to tack one more onto that lead. And the extra point pushes the lead to 14. Man, you just can't put a price on having a guy like that back there to return punts, and he turned that one into a touchdown. And he's going to bring it out of the end zone. He stopped short of the 20 at the 19 and probably wishes he'd just taken the touchback. The Mississippi State offense headed back to the field to go to work. To say this has been a slow start is a bit of an understatement, and they really need to get it going here, Jesse. That's right. The opponent, they're firing on all cylinders right out of the gate. Offensively for this unit, they've been slow and struggling. They need an explosive play to wake themselves up. Yeah, and it's just the first quarter, so it's not the end of the world. You've seen slow starts, but you got to continue to pick and pick and pick until you find that play or, or that scheme that you can use against this defense. Coming out on first down with the play fake. And the pressure gets to him. Down goes the quarterback. Oftentimes with play action, you're asking the quarterback to hold on to the ball a bit longer, and you're asking this offensive line to hold up and pass pro a bit longer. Against this athletic front seven on defense, it's going to be tough. A big play for the defense with the first down sack. Now, advantage D as the offense comes up on second down. He'll do it himself. At the 40, there he goes. A couple of guys there to get him on the ground. This defense will try to force a fourth down on third and short from the 45. They'll try to pick it up on the ground. He gets it oh so close to the first down marker, but I think he's going to be a touch short. Mississippi State will roll out the punt unit. The punt is headed out of bounds, and that is good news when you have someone as dangerous as he is returning. And Arkansas ready to send out this offense. You want to talk about a drive where you impose your will? That's what they did running it down for a touchdown, David. There is nothing more demoralizing than that for a defense. To be physically pounded, the run is coming, you know it's coming, and you can't stop it. Nothing the defense can do. That is mano -y mano up front, and your guys getting a push. They know you're running it, and they still can't stop it. He gets the job done, picking up the first down, then getting down. He'll try to pop the draw. A confident, tough, efficient run gets it up to the 44. They can really be aggressive after that last play at second and three. Leaves it with the running back. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. Third and short from the 44, and we might know if they plan to go for it on fourth down by what they call here. Back to throw, it's green. How about that play to get a hand in there and force the incompletion? The Razorbacks will punt it away on fourth down. This will be their first punt of the afternoon. You'd think they would have had a good chance to down that one deep, but the bounce carries it into the end zone for the touchback. Fast motion from the offense. Give to the back. They knock him down after a gain of three to the 23. The Bulldogs headed quickly to the line. Guys, this rough start is hardly what they had in mind to start SEC play, and it's not going to get any easier. Well, no doubt about it. There were big expectations surrounding this program inside SEC play this year, and things haven't necessarily gone their way. They've had to fight a ton of adversity, but, David, they believe they have the leadership in the locker room to turn it around, but it's got to start today. Yeah, one at a time. Like, we got to start today. we got to find something. we got to find what we're really good at, what we can hang our hat on so we can start to build some momentum throughout the season. Obviously, not the start we wanted, but we got to point to the next opportunity. Still on his feet at the 45. And there was lots of space as he gets it to the 39-yard line. 
Mississippi State has this drive hitting on all cylinders. Wide receiver now comes in motion. With jet sweep pass. Across the 25. And he will take it in. Touchdown Bulldogs. When that receiver got free, it was all over. And it's so nice to have a receiver like this as a quarterback because you had my stats. I like those long touchdown passes. Rogers threw it really short, and he did the rest of the work. And the PAT will draw them one point closer. A very efficient five-way scoring drive. And the points come on a pass from 39 yards out. From inside his own 10, he'll try to help out their field position. And good work by the coverage team to knock down the return man. The Hogs send that offense back onto the field. Looking for space, it's Jackson. And that's a very productive first down play in bringing up second and three. He's looking to throw. Unloads to the wideout. Working that left side. He gets those chains moving, gets it out to the 42-yard line. The give out of the gun. The big defensive tackles in the middle, they're not always the best pass rushers, but they are strong, and I say country strong. They put their hands on you, you feel it. They lock people out on the line of scrimmage. They create separation. They wrap running backs up, and usually they don't get out of the midst of those big guys. Let's see what they do on third down. Looking to throw, it's Green. Trying to get to it. And he's feeling the heat, and he will go down. Final play of the first quarter, and not the way he wanted to end it. That's the end of the quarter, and Arkansas has the lead. And we've come to the end of the first as we take a moment to check out the stats so far. Now to see if these guys can get back in the game in the second quarter. And the Razorbacks line up to punt it away. This will be the second time they've had to kick it away. Make sure he doesn't get backed up any further. Signals for and makes the fair catch at the 10. Here comes the Mississippi State offense ready to attack. Really good balance on that last drive. They mixed it up all over the place, Jesse. Yeah, how nice, too, to have the defense on their heels because at this point, they don't know what's coming at them. They had problems stopping everything that last drive. So I think this defense would come back with a little more aggressiveness. I mean, they let them have what they wanted. Now they got to dictate to this offense a little bit more. And the Bulldogs will keep this drive going. Ball spotted at the 21. It's first down. Used to play fake, now to throw. Coming after him. And the heat gets there, and they get him down at the 14-yard line. The defense just simply not fooled by the play action. Oftentimes, as an offense, you're hoping the run fake's going to slow down those pass rushers, but man, oh man, they had their ears pinned back. They need something that goes forward this time on second and long from the 14. From the gun, running back gets the give. They make the stop, but not before he takes a chunk out of what they need to move the sticks. Mississippi State right back to the line. Dropping back, it's shaping. Feeling some heat. Trying to make magic on the scramble. Picks up the first down and gets down to avoid contact. Mississippi State to the line with a fresh set of downs. Nice job. Nice way to end that play for the QB. He does a really good job scrambling, getting the first down, and getting down. Because defensively, I'm trying to get a lick. Anytime I can hit the quarterback, that is a win. Makes the grab. It's Lee. 
And that play just looked to be a mess from the snap, and he's run out of bounds behind the line of scrimmage. Out of the gun, the running back has it. Still running up a 40. And he won't quite get there, but boy, after that pickup, just a few inches to go for the first, an array of possibilities here. They weren't able to get that one off. It'll be a delay of game. Delay of game. Delay of game. game. Offense. Offense. That is a completely avoidable penalty. The quarterback just went into brain lock and lost track of the play clock. This is a designed run. They've got it to the 49-yard line, and they'll move the chain. Let's see how they set the tone on first and 10. Use the play fake, now to throw. Pressure cut. Nowhere to go, and the ball is loose. He's got the ball, and he'll try to pick up a few. Man, those are so frustrating when you're a defense, and you swarm to the football, and you stick the quarterback, and you make him cough it up just to have the other team recover it again, and you don't get it. Still a good stick, still a good physical play. Keep hitting that quarterback. This offensive line has just been unable to keep them away from the quarterback. Now it's second and long. Scanning the field. It's Shapen. Throws to the wideout. And the pass is incomplete. Charged loose by the hit. And this offense has gotten off to a good start on third down. But this is a different deal on third and long. Pocket starts to collapse. And they got him. They'll get him down for the sack. On third and long, you know what's coming. That's exactly where you want to get an offense. The passing game has to come out. You go nickel, bring some more speed on the field, and the defensive line gets home and gets the sack to force the fourth down. So Mississippi State will have to punt this one away. Bringing it back, it's the Tegna. That nifty return sets up the offense and negates some of the yardage on the punt. And Arkansas ready to send out this offense. He'll keep it himself. Makes a man miss. A most efficient pickup of six on first down. It's second and four. They go to the draw. Breaks the tackle. He had all kinds of company as soon as he got it. He had to fight his way back just to get to the line of scrimmage. In the gun, looking to throw on third down. Fires to the middle. A strike downfield. Just carving up this defense and getting it down to the 24. The Razorbacks want to pick up the tempo. That's a really nice looking throw, and I'll tell you, he fits in great with this offense because there's been this philosophical shift recently in the SEC offensively. It used to be you had to run the football. I formation, three yards in a cloud of dust if you wanted to win, but today, though, you have got to be able to throw if you're going to win. Think about all the great offensive play callers now in the SEC, all the Heisman Trophy winners that have played recently at the QB position. you got to do it through the air, and this guy in Arkansas gives them a chance. Relentless, tough running, gets it down to the four. Second and goal for the offense. Looking for a path to the end zone to the right. And he'll be stuck, got nothing. Line of scrimmage still at the four. Third and goal, where the fire purifies and separates contenders and pretenders. He sprints to the end zone. Touchdown, Razorbacks! And the offense continues to run the football. The second rushing touchdown from the running back. The offensive line paving holes continue to feed this man the ball.
Now they'll line up for what they hope is automatic. And the extra point pushes the lead to 14. And for a quick update, let's go to Kevin Connors in the studio. All right, guys, a little update on what else is happening in college football this weekend. UMass is in front. They've led for most of the way. However, Sam the Minuteman isn't exactly putting this one in the win column just yet. They're up by a field goal over the astronauts. We'll circle back if anything big happens in this college football matchup. Thanks for the update on that one. Kevin, let us know when it goes final. Didn't get much done on that first play of the drive. It's second and 11. To the ground with the back. He's knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple. And the running game has been going in the wrong direction. They'll try to get their first positive play of the drive here on third down. He's looking downfield to throw. They're trying. And here's a fumble way behind the line. How in the world did the offense retain possession? Woo. Deep breath, right? Man, you, you fumble that thing, you cough it up, you're like, oh, I really appreciate you, brother. I can't tell you how much I thank you because the coaches would have been all over me, but big time break for the offense. Mississippi State will roll out the punt unit. Three and out and not much choice but to get rid of the ball. He only needs a sliver of daylight. And the punt team gets down there and gets the return man on the ground. The Hogs send that offense back onto the field. Off the play fake on first down, wants to throw. Buys a little time. And he can't find a receiver, and down he goes. You want to change some of this bad luck you've had so far around? Get after the quarterback and get his butt on the ground. Nice job by the defense. This game ain't over. It's still the first half. This is a good start. We'll see if they can get a little better protection after the sack. It's second and 12. Back to pass. It's green. Fires to the big fella. He's brought down quickly. Minimal gain there. Still a bit short of the first down. They'll try to move the chains on this third and long from the 50. From the gun. Wants to pass. Flushed out of the pocket. And he scoops his way to the first down and then slides to avoid the hit. We've reached the two-minute warning, and they will try to build on what has already been a dominant first-half performance. He'll come out throwing on first down. Safe completion on the screen. And it's pretty obvious there was a big hole in that screen, and the defense ran right through it. On second down, they'll take to the air. Caught over the middle. It's high. He's brought down solid. Pick up on a little bit short of the first down. A third down try for the offense. They'll try to pick up the first through the air. Makes a connection. And he makes a completion there. Set up and in business at the 20. And the Razorbacks have it with a first and 10. From the red zone, looking for a receiver. On the run, and he'll slide to avoid the big hit. The offense will have to use its first time out of the half. Now on second down. He's looking to throw. Moves around to clear up the vision. Nifty little scamper on this one. Enough for the first down, and he slides in safely. The clock will stop with this timeout from the offense. They'll get a chance to regroup on the sideline. Looking to throw. Moving away from pressure. And he gets it just beyond the line of scrimmage before he gets down. They've moved it forward to the two. Now it's second and goal. He'll pull it on the read. And he waltzes in for the score. Touchdown, Arkansas! They've extended the lead and taken control here in week nine. Well, this offense has been physical. They came out in this game with a lot of pride and the ability up front and the belief that they can block people and get it done. They are dominating this defense. Three rushing touchdowns now in the game. On to attempt the try. The 
And with the extra point, they pushed the lead out a little further. So they got the touchdown now, going to put it in the hands of their defense to finish off this half. On the run from inside his own five. Just never had a chance to shake loose, and he'll be brought down at the 24. Here comes the Bulldog offense back onto the field. Trailing by three touchdowns. If you're going to get back in it, David, the time to start is right now. Got to start now. Defense giving up points on that last possession. Again, the offense is going to have to score. And Jesse probably scored pretty quick. Yeah, you got to go tempo. You're going to have to try to fit in as many plays as you can throughout the rest of this game. Oh, and he gets downfield for the big catch. A timeout is called as this offense tries to find a way to get more points on the board before the half. Going up top on first down. Makes the catch. It's ball. And he goes out of bounds after a nice pickup oh, on oh, that oh, one. Oh, oh, oh. We'll repeat the previous down, but this time the offense has 10 more yards it has to cover. Back to throw. It's shaping. Getting some heat. It's complete to the left. We've got a timeout in the waning seconds of the half. Maybe a chance to get off a couple more plays. Quarterback wants to throw on second down. Looking for the end zone. And a penalty flag comes in as that one falls incomplete, but this is going to be a positive That's play from the sure. offense and defense with pass interference coming. And the defender just way too handsy on that last play. You could see all the contact as the ball was in the air. He simply can't do it, and the referee's caught. What a disappointment. No good. After the missed field goal, still down by 21 points. 28, Mississippi State, 7. First half in the books. Time now to join Kevin Connors in our halftime update. All right, guys, looks like we've got a great atmosphere today in Starkville. It's been a fun start to this one, and this offense has really been the story. They've opened up a sizable lead, and unless something drastic changes, things might get even more out of hand. A combination of lethal efficiency, and that offensive line has been the key. They've mauled that defense and also just about broken their will. With that said, Let's send it back to the guys at Davis Wade Stadium. The Razorbacks will line up to kick off and start the second half. And he takes this from inside the five. Just never had a chance to shake loose, and he'll be brought down at the 24. The Mississippi State offense headed back to the field to go to work. They'll keep it on the ground to start the second half. He's knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple. Mississippi State going up tempo. Out of the shotgun, they go to the ground. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. Four punts already, and they've got to convert here to avoid a fifth. They're bringing heat. Going to try to get it himself. He is going nowhere. Stop at the line of scrimmage. So Mississippi State will have to punt this one away. They may have to pay him overtime. He's punting for the fifth time today. On the move, it's Sategna. Little pressure on the coverage team there, and they'll stop him at the 47-yard line. Looking for a productive play on first down. Use the play fake, now to throw. Soft spot in the middle. And a big-time grab there. Knocked down immediately, but not before he gets it to the 40. They'll leave it with him. 
Just a solid stop by this sophomore. After the three-yard pickup, they come to the line second and seven. It'll be a draw. Bulls his way forward. And he's knocked down, but not before moving the chains. And the Razorbacks have it with a first and ten. Motion from the offense. Looking to pass. It's green. He's got his man. They stop him almost immediately. Short gain there and still a little ground to cover to pick up the first. Brings up second down. He's looking for a man on second down. Now improvising. He'll pull it down. He gets the job done, picking up the first down, then getting down. The Razorbacks are threatening in the red zone. From the gun, the ground game. Shakes off the defender. There to stop him after a pickup of three. It's down to the 15. Got three down at second and seven. Out of the gun, the give to the back. He's dropped behind the line of scrimmage. That'll be a loss of three. Third down conversions are a huge stat, and this one would be a doozy if they can pull it off. Skips away from pressure. Keeps it going. And he avoids the hit and slides after the short game. Now on fourth down, they'll try to come away with three. Never a doubt. Right down the middle. And they'll push that lead out a little further. That lead just keeps getting fatter in this kickoff team doing a little running. He'll bring it back from inside his five. He was hoping for something a little more dynamic, but they get him on the ground at the 20. Here comes the Mississippi State offense, ready to attack. They face a pretty tall mountain here, Jesse, down 24, but if they're gonna climb it, this is a good time to start. Sense of urgency has got to be big right here. You just get the feeling at this point of the game, David, they've got to score on this drive. Obviously, their defense needs to get stops, but at this point, offensively, they've got to execute much better. they, they got to be super aggressive. Down 24, you're going to need three touchdowns, three two-point conversions, everything to kind of go your way. So fast and throw in the football. Wide receiver coming across in motion. Touch pass on the jet sweep. Not a whole lot of room there. Three yards, maybe. Second and seven. Kept it on the ground on first down. Now back to the line. They'll ride the running back and leave it with him. And a decent game there before the defense makes a stop. Guys, this offense is already reeling down. Multiple possessions really need to cash in on this drive. And they'll pick up the first down and mark it at the 47. Mississippi State really efficient on offense right now. They'll throw it on first down. The short hands, it's Lee. And he goes out of bounds after coming up with positive yardage there. Here comes the offense on second down. From the gun, the running back has it. They'll wrestle him down just short of the first down. I don't even think they're going to bring out the chains to measure this one. And after that last run, we'll see if they keep it on the ground on third. He breaks a tackle. He'll have enough to give Mississippi State a first down. Eighth play of the drive coming up. They'll run it from the gun. And a pickup of eight opens a whirl of opportunities on second and two. After the good pickup on first down, let's see if they keep it on the ground. The give to the running back from the shotgun. Crosses the 30 to the 29 before he stops. Pick up a five on the play. It's a first down. From the gun, the give looking for room. And a nice run there before the defense finally makes the stop. Good spot after that seven-yard pickup on first down. It's second and three. 
Wide out in motion. Try to get the edge with a quick touch pass. The defense wouldn't let him loose, and even though it's a completion, they lost yardage. That's the end of the quarter, and Arkansas has the lead. Let's take a quick look at the national rankings to see how this playoff race is shaping up. One more quarter to go, and it looks as if we are ready to play. Here they come, up to the 23-yard line, not thinking field goal, wanting to convert this third and short. And eventually taken down, but what about that spin move? Gives him the first down yardage. Mississippi State comes out after picking up the first down. Might as well run him until they stop him. He's got it again. Listen, the, the offensive coordinator's best friend in the red zone is the running game. Make guys commit near the line of scrimmage so I can throw behind. This defense is good, but I'm going to challenge them. I'm, I'm going to try to be the more physical team. I love the play call. I think you can keep running the football and stay physical. Really need to pick up this conversion and avoid having to settle for the field goal. Looking for a man. It's shaping. Fires to the end zone, and he's got it! Touchdown, Mississippi State! Well, that was easy. That's right. Question mark? I mean, you got to affect the quarterback. These quarterbacks are way too good nowadays. You can't blame the secondary. Who am I going to go point to back there? The defensive line has to do a better job making that quarterback feel uncomfortable. You can't have that long to throw the football. We've got a timeout here as this coach is challenging the call. He wants to give the replay booth the chance to have another look. So he took a chance by using a timeout on the challenge, and it comes back to bite him. We'll see if he needs that timeout later. Trying to slam in. He stopped short of the goal line, and they are unable to get the two and cut this to a two-possession game. About to kick it away after scoring the touchdown. He'll start the return inside his five. And the return man showing great vision to be able to find some space and put his team in much better field position. Hand off from the shotgun. Slams ahead for a yard out to the 33. Didn't get much on first down. It's second and nine. The run from the shotgun. Runs for the tackle. He's knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple. They line up, and it is a long way to the sticks from here. Third and long, and he'll try to throw for it. Catch in the middle. It's high. And he's not going to get there. The defense stands tall and makes the stop. Fourth down, and the punt team sends it the other way. Looks it all the way in, and now turns his attention upfield. And he's going to get it up to about the 29-yard line before he's brought down. Here comes the Bulldog offense back onto the field. How about that blocking up front in that running game last time as they just walked it down for a touchdown, David? And the big boys up. And this sophomore able to wreak some havoc and get the sack. And as a defense, a lot of times you're coming to the game and you're just trying to limit the damage when you play a really great quarterback. And they've done more than that today. They have dominated this football game. The offense has carried their weight, and this is looking like a great outcome. And they are looking for a ball play that'll work. Now facing second and long from the 19. Looking downfield, it's Shapen. Fires to the right. Excellent coverage and good use of the hands to knock it away. You make up the game plan and not a lot on the play sheet for this. Third and long from inside their own 20. Trying to get to it. Didn't have anything working and just had to throw it away on third down. Mississippi State will roll out the punt unit. Doesn't say much for your drive when you're looking forward to the punt. Looking for a block. It's a Tegna. And the returner will be knocked down. And Arkansas ready to send out this offense. The last time.
time we saw this offense, we had to look quick. It was a three and out, Jesse. They just had no rhythm in that last drive. So someone's going to have to step up and make a play, David, and get this thing going. Yeah, let's find some juice. Find your guy. Find those plays that you know you can run inside out, forward, backwards. Get some first downs. Get some positive momentum. He's knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple. If they can convert here, that type of play can really give you a shot of momentum. They go to the ground. And there were some collisions in there, and the D finally stopped him short of the marker. And the Razorbacks will call on their punt team. He's getting a lot of work. Fourth time he's punted tonight. And it looks as if there will be no return here as the punt goes out of bounds. The offense set for a first down play. He's going to pass. He wants to go deep. He's got it down the left side. And the tackle is made, but not before. That completion gets him 30-plus. And, Jesse, there's a huge mountain to climb here, but you might as well start with a chunk play. Well, you got to start somewhere, Reese. It's been tough going for this offense all game long. They find themselves in a hole, but I love the aggressive nature. Keep taking shots. Keep trying to claw your way back into this one. Ripping through the defense and getting it all the way down to the 24-yard line. First down, Bulldogs. From the gun, they'll give it on the inside. Nice, solid form tackle from this sophomore. Mississippi State right back to the line. Trying play action. Gets it out fast. They make the stop right there. Good pickup, but still short of the first down. Really need to pick up this conversion and avoid having to settle for the field goal. Caught near the sticks. It's Coleman. They get him down, but this offense is set up first and goal from the nine. First and goal. He's dropped behind the line of scrimmage. That'll be a loss of three. Defense rolls up deep in its own end on that last play. Now a second and long coming. To the air. It's shaping. Coming after it. He caught it. And he'll run out of bounds just short of the goal line. Wanted to get it in, but couldn't quite get home. They'll run it here on third and goal. And he takes it to the house. Touchdown, Bulldog. Bringing the extra beef. It's goal line. I know what I'm going to get. I know what I'm going to do. We're going to be bigger, stronger at the point of attack. We'll push you around. And the running back does the rest in five minutes. Lining up for the PAT. Bangs it through for an extra point. And let's check in with Kevin Connors in the studio. Kevin? Gentlemen, let's take a look at what's happening in this exciting college football game. Western Michigan is in front. They've been impressive today, but they still have to finish the job, and that is not a given. They're up by just two over Kent State. We'll circle back if anything changes in this exciting college football matchup. And how about that one? Kevin will be keeping an eye on everything going on elsewhere. That play just never had a chance. They knock him down for a loss of five. Looking for a crease. It's Jackson. Forges ahead. Picks up about three to the 29. Balls at the 29. Defense can taste getting off the field. It's third and long. Scrambling away. It's a fumble. Defense just cradling that fumble and securing it. And he's brought down, and his defense gets the ball back for its own. And this is one of those where you go, oof, you, you start to breathe a little deeper on the sidelines. You felt really, really comfortable having the big lead to plus two possessions in the fourth quarter. But now, you gave the ball back, put yourself in a position where you're going to have to earn it a little bit more now. The Mississippi State offense headed back to the field to go to work. 
They unleashed an aerial assault last time that took them right to the end zone, David. So, Reese, with that drive, I think you've accomplished something you wanted to accomplish. Make this defense think. You put them back on their heels. Now, shoot, Palmer, you might be able to slip a few runs in on this drive to, to really jack them up. Yeah, I like that idea, but I also like the fact that speed kills. And they've got it at the receiver position, so if you've got... Fires deep for the end zone. Touchdown, Mississippi State. And the comeback is on. Before that score, considering last rights, now all of a sudden, they're not dead yet. In fact, they're feeling much better, and they're alive, and they've got a chance. And I'm looking on the field right now. I'm looking at their sideline. They're energized, please. After that last score, all of a sudden, they believe they can come back and win this game. This is a totally different-looking team than what we saw earlier. Looking to throw at Chapin. Fires to the tight end. He's in there for the two-point conversion, and now they're within a field goal. About to kick it off after punching it in for the touchdown. On the move from inside is five. Couldn't find a way to create that broken field as he stopped at the 25. The Hogs send that offense back onto the field. That last drive and the turnover, not what you're looking for when you have the lead, Jesse. Yeah, and really, I think for them, it's just staying out of their own way. They're making plays. They've got the playmakers to go and win this game, so it's just a matter of executing better, don't they? Yeah, executing better, understanding I still got the lead. Put a drive together here and build on that lead. Part in the backfield. It's Armstrong. At the 35, he's loose. And they do a really good job. Not as easy as it looks to get those blocks. And he picks up the first down. Gets it out quickly. And a good job of coverage by that defense. Just a short pickup. We've reached a two-minute warning in this offense. Trying to milk this clock and keep time on their side. They'll try to keep this clock moving on the ground. He's dropped behind the line of scrimmage. That'll be a loss of three. We've got a timeout on the field. A tight game in the fourth. And the brain trust will go to work. On third down, going up top. He'll pull it down and run. And he's not going to make it. The defense denying him the first down. Quick timeout called by the defense, stopping the clock to save as much time as possible for their offense. A fairly short distance here toward the sidelines. Not his best work. Offense set on first down. Looking to move it through the air. Fires to the wideout. All kinds of room to throw that one in there. And they reacted well with the completion, but it was too late to keep them from getting the first down. Wants to throw. It's shaping. Release to the back. And it's incomplete. If you're going to take a hit like that, you might as well hang on to the ball. On second and ten, a four wideout set trips right. He's looking to throw. Grabbed over the middle. It's Booth. And you're seeing why this guy is on the field during two-minute situations. He can catch the football and make things happen. Nobody open downfield. You just dump it down to him and let the guy go to work, pick up a huge play, and help this offense get in position to win the game. And the pressure will get there. The sack. Down he goes in the waiting moments. That could be a costly play. On fourth down, looking to pass. Fires left. Incomplete on fourth down, and man, did they need to keep that drive alive. Running out the clock seems to be a mere formality here as they are ready to snap it in victory formation. 
after the stumble earlier this year, a lot of people wrote this team off. People might be searching for spots on the bandwagon again now. Yeah, I give this coaching staff a lot of credit too, Reese, because they made a few tweaks and adjustments schematically to their personnel as well, and they've really now seemed to find a nice rhythm. And it's hard to find that early in the season, but the good teams figure out who they are, what they do well, and you can tell they're starting to get in a groove, figure out who does what well, and maximize that and accentuate that. So that's going to do it for us. For Jesse Palmer, David Pollock, I'm Reese Davis saying so long. This has been another presentation of EA Sports College Football.